Hi everyone and welcome back to Nina and Ready Eats. Today I am having Mexican food, chips and salsa. I have some guacamole here. Let me say a prayer really quick before I dive into this. Go ahead and grab yourself something to eat and something to drink because we're gonna start a really good chat. I am absolutely loving my life. How is everybody doing? Yes, a little bit of pepper on that. A little bit of salt, why not? Squeeze that lime on there. Yes, to the Mexican cuisine. I, I've never been to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico, but haven't been. Still don't have a passport, y'all. But don't worry. Soon enough, everything will be different. <laughs> everything will be much better than what it is and it's already amazing ready oh man oh my god fresh chunky avocado tomatoes onions cilantro lime salt pepper mm. Didn't mean to shake the camera, guys. I'm so sorry. I already cold Coca-Cola with ice. This is so amazing. Already. Already, baby. Who doesn't love Mexican food? I've had quite a day today. I am so appreciative. You guys. Yesterday's video got a lot of feedback. I appreciate all the comments. Mm. I, repl I reply back to a ton of people. I love having conversations with you guys and connecting. It just makes me feel like I'm not alone in this world. Oh. I am being so messy today. What is going on, my girl? What is going on? Thank you so much. Oh my God, we have a carnitas plate coming. Yeah, oh, yes, it's caliente. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oh yes, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. What am I, oh, oh so hot. She was not exaggerating. Wow. We have carnitas, which is pork with onions, lettuce tomatoes yellow rice i know this is spicy so that's a no-no for me and then refried beans oh my goodness then we have some tor tortillas here i don't know if these are corn or flour let me see if they're corn they're flour tortillas oh hot keep those nice and hot but i want to get into the, my chips and salsa before i get into that because everything is scorching hot i love this place I come here often when I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I am in Atlanta, Georgia today. For those of you who joined me in my video yesterday, we got to talking about some pretty deep things. It was a really raw and authentic video, and I appreciate the feedback that you guys gave me. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, and more yes, okay? Oh my God. I had the cutest DM today on my Instagram. Somebody was like, do you ever get lonely when you're eating by yourself? Girl, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, okay? You know what the craziest thing is? I'm about to say something real crazy. A lot of the times when I go out to eat with people is because I invite them to go out to eat. And I have this rule, whoever invites pays. Whoever invites you to go out should pay. That's what I think. You guys might disagree, so please tell me what you think. Oh, by the way, Tate, I'm not wearing any makeup, raw face, blemishes, everything out. Just giving my skin some breathing room away from the makeup. But I have this rule, whoever invites pays. You know what's so insane? I just realized this not too long ago.
a lot of the people that I've invited to go out to eat have never invited me back out to eat. I was thinking about that yesterday. Wait a minute. All these people that I know that I've taken out to eat, that I've had a great time with, that I've hung out with, that I've, you know, invested time into, they've never invited me back out to eat. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be eating by myself. I'm going to be eating by myself. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to invite me back out. Like, hey, girl, do you want to go grab yourself something to eat with me? I'm inviting you to go have some sushi. I'm inviting you to go have some Mexican food. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm having so many life epiphanies lately. And it's because my whole and en my energy has changed. My entire energy has changed. I'm like, hold on. Todo bien. Gracias, muñeca. Like, it's like, I don't know if the, the moon is changing or the universe or what's going on. But I'm like, hold on a second. What? I just realized. And it hit me yesterday. I don't know why I'm paying attention to like the weirdest things lately. And I think it's because my life has taken such a huge turn. Like a lot of things in my life are changing in real time, like actual real time. And I'm like, I'm really paying attention to like the little things. And I'm like, hold on a second. What's going on? Mmm. Baby, they ain't never lie when they say it's lonely at the top, baby. I don't think it's lonely like, oh my God, I'm so sad lonely. It's kind of like lonely like you start to very quickly realize who messes with you and who doesn't. You feel me? Because when you have boundaries up, oh my God, I was reading all my comments yesterday and I'm like, this is why I love my subscribers. I love my kisses. Like I love them. Because you guys give me insight. You guys give me different perspective. You guys give me a different point of view in life. There's so many, there's so, there was so much good feedback. And I'm like, okay, yeah. You know? I'm just starting to realize a lot of things in life. And I'm like, I try to not feel dumb about having like, you know, these life epiphanies. But, you know, sometimes you can't have it but to feel dumb. Like, damn, how did I put up with that for so long? Or... But that's growth. That's growth. I had another sad epiphany lately, and it's like, whenever life is going really good for you, and you have good things happening for you, don't go sharing that shit with everybody. Because trust me when I tell you, not everybody's gonna be happy for you. You know what I noticed? Whenever I was going through hardship in life, like really like, you know, tough things in life, there was a lot of people around that wanted to just be in the business, just be in the business. But whenever you're doing better, those same people, start looking at you funny, start treating you different, then they wonder why you're acting different. That's a lot of shit. That's a lot of shit. I'm learning so much, like it's crazy. I feel like I'm having this like emotional and mental growth spur. Not physically, I'm not, my, my, I'm fully developed, but I'm having this like emotional and spiritual growth And I started to notice a lot of different things. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's how that happens. Got it, got it, got it. 
So when they say it's lonely at the top, when you're doing, uh-uh, Mr. Fly, I know you're hungry. Do you want a tomato? Here, you can have this tomato, honey. Here, I'm going to leave that right there for you. Little fly, there's a tomato right there. You want a chip? Here's a chip and a tomato. Make sure you don't dig my food. Right there. You want a piece of lettuce, too? I don't mind sharing. Sharing is caring. That's what I heard. There's your stuff. You can go ahead and land on that, and I promise I won't bother you. This little fly, trying to be all up in the business. I don't know what's going on with this, with the whole, I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is, I'm laser focused, okay? I am laser focused. And I appreciate, like, I, I feel like my subscribers are, basically you guys are like, my digital family. When I feel like I need to vent or talk, you guys are always there for me. Like I'm always able to express my feelings and my thoughts and you know, and I appreciate all feedback, good, bad, ugly, great, amazing. I, I appreciate it all because like I said, it's a different perspective. I'm gonna tell you some real, real ass shit right now. As soon as I get this one bite in, oh my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. If I had cheese, I could have made that whole thing into like nachos just now. That bean dip was really good with that chip. When you start having like life epiphanies in life, like you really start learning about yourself. You start to detox from anything that truly doesn't suit you as a person. You can really start to see who's who, what role they play in your life. And like I said to a lot of people from the outside looking in, it may seem like my life is lonely because I'm always by myself. I do everything by myself. Like if I wanna to go to a museum, I go by myself. If I wanna go see a show, I go by myself. And the reason why I go by myself, excuse me, is because I don't want to deal with the headaches and the problems that come with having to entertain somebody. I'm sick and tired of being financially responsible for people. Like every time I go out, I'm the one paying. Every time we go somewhere, I'm the one inviting. And I'm, you know, you, you can't help it but to wonder like, why are these people even around? Like, are they around because they like me or are they around because I'm, a, I'm their meal ticket? When you start to put up boundaries, and I don't want to call them rules. I usually do call them rules, but boundaries. When you start to put up boundaries, and you start to carry yourself in a different way, and you start to respect yourself, you know what I'm saying? You'll be surprised how many people all of a sudden start switching up. And then they say things to you like, oh, you acting different, you acting Hollywood, blah, blah, blah. I'm not acting different. Your jealousy is showing. I'm not acting different. Your true colors are showing. Because when I was down and out, struggling, years ago I used to be homeless, everybody just wanted to be in the tea. They wanted a sip of that tea you was brewing. They're like, you know, you're struggling, you're in the streets, you going through shit, you eating out of trash cans and whatnot. Like, you really going through it. You'd be surprised. The minute they know you're really doing well, and you're okay, people start to act funny. Mm -mm. I'm still waiting to see who gonna call my phone and be like, oh, hey, I see that you're in Atlanta. I just wanted to hang out with you. I wanna take you out to eat. I wanna treat you to something nice. The same way I used to always do for them when I was here. I want to see who's who. And now is a great time to test that.
I want to see who is who. Mm-mm. Funny how tables turn. Funny how tables turn. I'm I'm gonna stay in my own little bubble. I'm about to act like I don't know nobody. A lot of people try to act like they rock with you as long as you're copping that bill. But when you start flipping that bill, baby, ghost mode. Oh, damn. She hasn't invited me to go out to eat. She hasn't invited me to go do something. So let me just wait on her to invite me so I don't have to flip that bill. You'd be surprised. How many people play that ghost? You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Mm. I'm staying in my lane I'm staying low key I'm doing me and I'm staying focused Don't go sharing good news with people. Trust me. Don't go sharing good news with people. Because people try to act like... I hear this shit all the time. Oh, damn. Such and such. Oh, damn. They are Hollywood now. They acting all different. That's not the case. I'm experiencing that shit myself. It ain't that a, a bitch went Hollywood. It ain't that... Is that the fact that when people know you're doing really, really good in your life and you got really good things going on in your life and you're focused and you're, you know, self-driven and motivated, they resent you because you're no longer where you used to be. You're no longer at their level. You're moving on up. People pretend to be happy for you until it's time for them to be happy for you. And then when it's time for them to be really happy for you, they switch up. Because they never liked you in the first place. And a bitch like me, I get the memo quick. I'm like, oh, okay. Got it. Check, got that. Okay, cool. I'm not in the business of confronting nobody and telling them about themselves. I'm not going to tell you about yourself. For what? You know who you are. I don't got to tell you about you. People know when they move in funny with you. They know that. You ain't got to tell them. For what? Example. That's like... Before... Let me give you an idea because I'm not in a relationship now. But let me just give you like a concept, an idea to think about. Before, when I used to be in a relationship and I used to catch my boyfriends or whoever cheating, I used to tell them, oh, you acting like this, why you cheating, why you doing this, why you doing that? Don't do that. You don't need to tell the person that you're involved with, your partner, whether it's a wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, fiance, whatever. You don't need to tell them, oh, I caught you cheating. For what? They know they cheated. They know they betrayed you. They know they lied to you. They know that they didn't honor their commitment to you. They know that. Why you got to go tell them? I don't got to go check in with people that I thought was cool with me and be like, damn, why you acting shady? For what? They know they acting shady. Why I got to go check in and be like, why you acting like that? For what? Act how you want to act. That's you. Act how you want to act. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I should flip this chip over. I'm going to do what I'm doing.
I'm not checking no adult about their behavior no more. And I used to do that shit all the time. Oh, why you do me like that? Why you acting like this? Why you acting like that? Man, let, let people act however they want to act. That's dumb. You worry about yourself. You worry about how you acting. You worry about how you treat others. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing. That ain't none of your business. <laughs> Don't worry about nobody else. It's so crazy. The kind of things that I'm starting to like see. I'm never ever, you know, they be like, damn, I'm woke. I'm never going back to sleep, baby. I'm gonna stay woke. I'm gonna stay woke. Gotta make new friends, gotta meet new people. And that's it, that's what it is. So I started to go through my text messages and I'm sitting and I'm like, damn, you know what's so crazy? It's so funny how it's always me sending, you know, happy birthday text messages and happy New Year's and Merry Christmas and, you know, happy Valentine's Day and happy Fourth of July. And I'm always checking in with people, see how they're doing. So this year I stopped texting. I don't text nobody shit. Let me see who reached out to me. I'm not shocked at all, at all, <laughs> on how many people don't check in and see how I'm doing. I just wanted to know who's who. I got time to test the people that say they fuck with me. I got time. I got a lot of time. Let me see who, let me see who's who real quick. Because when I get to where I'm going, I need to know who's who. I need to filter out them damn snakes real quick. I'm like, nope, I'm not checking in with nobody. Don't care to. Don't care to. Vacation, I'll go by myself. I will go by my, you hear me? I will get on a cruise. I will fly my ass to some random Caribbean island. I will go by myself. I much rather interact with strangers. Ain't that crazy? I had an amazing conversation. The other day I went to a restaurant called Message in a Bottle. I had been there once or twice before. And I had a totally like, I mean the most amazing conversation with a person that I never spoke to again. Never spoke to them again. Spoke to them for three or four hours. Amazing conversation. Had no problems. Great time. Got drinks, hung out at the bar. Had a good old time. Ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about shit. Mm -mm. Today when I came here, I went and I sat at the bar, had a nice little drink. The guy next to me is like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. Had about a, it wasn't a long conversation, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Flawless conversation. Shit, I didn't even get their name. They didn't even get my name. Mm -hmm. Had a great conversation, had a nice time. And I was like, all right, you know, enjoy your meal. I'm always like super, super nice to strangers because you never know who you're talking to. Girl, you never know who you are talking to, okay? So I don't go around just being rude to people. I was really nice, had a good conversation, got my drink, sat down at this table all by myself. I was like, can I sit outside? Cause the inside of the restaurants, it's really busy. And I really just wanted to have, you know, lunch by myself. Like I wanted, well, not even lunch. I should say dinner, it's like 4 11. I just wanted to enjoy a meal, you know, do my YouTube video. And I just feel like, 
I feel like my energy is changing. I feel like I don't want to be bothered. If you're not talking about something productive, if you're not talking about bettering yourself, if you're not talking about YouTube videos, making money, savings account, if you're not talking about investments, if you're not talking about creativity, if you're not talking about things that are productive, I don't care to have a conversation. I don't care who you are. I'm not doing it. Because it's my life and I'm going to run my life however I want to run my life. The only thing I can control is myself. And that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm doing is controlling myself. And I don't know if, if it's some sort of trauma response or if I'm going through something. I'm not sure what it is, but I have this really strong urge to protect myself from any and all things. And the more my life progresses, the more I become, for lack of a better word, an introvert, which is insane because I'm a social media influencer and I have a public YouTube channel and I create videos and I'm an actress and I do all those things. And, but in my personal life, I keep my phone on Do Not Disturb 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I look at my phone twice a day after I'm done with the gym workout and maybe around six o'clock, a few hours before I go to bed and I don't touch that phone again. If I'm not editing on that phone, I don't touch that phone again. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want someone to... Hold on, it's a truck going by. I don't want... Oh, a fire truck. I don't want anybody else to influence my positivity or shift my mood or my energy. I don't care to hear about... I don't want to call somebody on the phone and automatically off the rip, they already sound depressed or sad or angry or just, I, I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want anything negative around me in any way, shape or form. I don't have to have it around me, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. You will be surprised. And I know that I'm going through changes. I could tell, I could feel it. No. Shit's different now. Hella different. Shit ain't what it used to be. And when I tell you the best thing you can do is protect yourself from all negative things, it is your duty to protect yourself. That is your responsibility. If you allow tox toxic people, toxicity, negative energy around you, that's you doing that. Because you don't have to have it. You don't have to have negative people around you. You don't have to have negative conversations. You don't have to be in an environment that's unhealthy for you. Those are choices you're making every day. And every day I make a conscious choice to make sure that I keep and put myself in situations that are just going to keep me in a healing spirit. That's where I want to stay. I want to stay in a healing, productive, uplifting, motivated, self-inspired feeling. And that's where I'm going to stay. My phone stays on do not disturb. I'll see the message whenever I see the message. And I don't care to reply back right away either. I'm done with all that. I'm done. When you choose yourself and you put yourself first, it's a different ball game. I can't explain it. I wish everybody would do what I'm doing because your life would just be so much easier. I wish everyone would just choose themselves instead of choosing, you know, negativity or things that are not going to make them happy. I wish that. 
Mamita, can I get the check? Te va a dar mi carta. Yeah, creo que me lo voy a llevar para esto para tu Estaba delicioso. Muy rica. Gracias. Tienes sí. dos to-go box para que te lleves el guacamole igual. Sí, uno chiquito. Bueno. Tiene una hoja chiquita. Sí. Ok, gracias, mami. Te aprecio. Ok. Um, so it's a very interesting. I don't know if anybody can even relate to what I'm saying at all. Maybe I just sound like I'm talking gibberish. And respectfully so, everyone's enti entitled to their opinion. I'm just in a point in my life where I'm just like, yo, I need to make sure that I keep myself focused and keep myself where I'm at right now. I cannot, I, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't be who I used to be. I used to be very patient with people And I'm realizing that being patient with people is costing me way too much. And I'm not talking about costing me money. I'm talking about my, my spiritual energy, my mental energy, my emotional energy. I just can't give that to anybody anymore. I can't do it. I just can't do it. And it's not the easiest um, path to take but it is the best path for myself. I want to stay happy. I want to live happy. I want to make sure that I keep this feeling that I have alive as long as possible because life can switch at any minute. And where I'm at right now, I'm like, hell yeah, I want to stay right here. I want to stay right here. This is why I don't want to have a boyfriend or be in a relationship or I don't want to even like socialize with friends. It's just... It's all a bunch of nonsense. Thank you, mommy. Gracias, muñeca. Adentro te dejo una bolsita. Okay, gracias. This is too much nonsense that goes on. I'm not gonna babysit adults. I'm not doing that. I need to take care of myself, worry about me. And that's what I'm on right now. Like this bill is $44.65. If I would have invited somebody else to go out with me, this bill would have been $120. Okay? Let that be known. And people don't even be like, do you want me to help you with gas money? Girl, who? <laughs> so the only reason why motherfuckers want to hang out with Nina and Ray is because they know she's going to pay that bill. Fuck that. Fuck that. Now, people want to hang out with Nina and Ray, y'all can cop the bill. Invite me out to eat. Invite me out to eat. Yo, girl, do you want to go out to eat? I got the bill. Bet. Let's go. You got the bill? Let's do it. Let me see what you going to do. For me. Man, I want to see that shit. You'd be surprised how many people don't even fuck with you. <laughs> mm. And I don't want to hear all times is hard. I see the amount. They be out with their little friends. I see them out. They didn't call me when it was time to go out. I wasn't even invited. You heard that? You guys heard that new Cardi, Cardi B song? Where they be like, you got this chick that don't like you, this person that don't like you, And all of a sudden, they friends? Facts. Facts. Listen. <laughs> I'm paying attention to different little things around here, baby. I'm paying a lot of attention to little things. 
It's all the little things that matter. And I'm not shocked at all. I expected it. I knew it. I knew it. I just wanted to see it. You know how you want to just witness something yourself? That's what it is. I wanted to see that for myself. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just see. And I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to just see. I'm going to see who's who. Mental note. Mental note. I'm going to see who's who. And I'm going to chill. Because it's those same people that don't mess with you, that want to reach out to you later when everybody else is messing with you. When you get to the top by yourself and you got, you got the attention of all these different strangers, all of a sudden you start getting those little text messages. Hey girl, remember me? What's up? Oh my God, it's been so long and we haven't spoken. I miss you so much. Uh-huh. But when I was in your city, you didn't even bother to text me. When I was in your city, you didn't even bother to call. All right, that is what that is. It is what it is, and we gonna leave it at that. Ain't no beef. I'm not even gonna get mad about it. At this point, I'm laughing like, perfect. Because the universe has a funny way of exposing the truth to you. You just gotta see it. What you gotta do on your end, when the universe exposes things to you, what you gotta do on your end is pay attention and do not deny yourself the truth. Don't deny yourself the truth. For what? Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Where the truth is in your face and you wanna act like you didn't just see that. Man, I used to be me. Oh, they didn't really mean that. They was just busy. Bitch, please. But then you go on their stories and they was with everybody else except you. Cool, no problem. Oh, oh. Baby, we ain't playing no games in 2024. The minute I see it, I'ma know. The minute I see it, it is what it is. 2024, the first time I see it, I'm clocking you. The first time I see it, I'm clocking. I want no phone calls later to talk about, how you been girl, damn. I didn't know you was in Atlanta. I didn't know you was here. Had I known you was here, I would have called you. I would have texted you. Oh my God, chill, just chill. Keep climbing, Nina, just keep climbing. The universe got a funny way of showing you. I'ma sit back and I'ma chill. Let me tell you how shady people are. Somebody slid into my DMs. You know what? I'm not even going to say that. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It is what it is. Not even going to say it. It don't matter. I'm going to mind my business. I am minding my business. I'm not even going back and forth with the he said, she said, and this person said, and I heard, and 
sending me screenshots of conversations and mm, I don't care. I'm going to leave it like this. Y'all go ahead and y'all keep talking about me, acting like the shit ain't going to get back to me. But just know this, baby, you got snakes in your camp. They snitching on you. I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't going to say no names. They snitching. That same little social circle going to sit there and talk shit. I think like it ain't never going to get back to you, baby. I'm going to say one more time. The same people that you hanging out with that is so busy talking about me to you, they talking about you to me. You just lucky that I'm not petty to forward these screen messages and these screenshots about your little petty ass conversations. Cause I'm not with it and I don't care. I could care less. I'm gonna stay on top. That's all I'm gonna do. And people that try to pull you down with gossip and messiness and he said, she said, and all that other shit, the reason why they're trying to pull you down, baby, is because they beneath you, period. So you stay positive and you stay strong and you keep talking your shit because you talking shit ain't gonna affect me none. I'm on my own lane and I got the pedal to the metal and my gas is at 100. And no matter how much shit you talk about me behind my back while you're trying to pretend to be my friend, that ain't gonna do nothing. Cause now I know. And now that I do know, I'm not gonna act like I don't know. But now you gotta figure out who and what the fuck I'm talking about. So good luck with that, cause I'm not snitching. But thanks for the info. Until next time, stay positive and stay strong.